Hildebrand, Heaven's Word Boogaloo. Let us get let us begin. We have Enkidu, as always. <laughs> at this point, keeping us company. I did uh do some glam searching last night. And I'm kind of uh happy about Postman. I'm not a huge fan of the eye patch. I am a huge fan of Postman hat. Uh it's the Neosh Guardian hat. Postman hat uh with the new PvP set. I'm very much a fan of it. I I'm kind of mixed on the hat. I feel like I can go a little bit of a darker red to match, but I also kind of like that this makes it look like the Postman's hat from Majora's Mask. So, we do got our warrior set up. Figured we'd uh, go through Rock That today before Shadowbringers. Anyway, but the gentleman falls rather than flies. <laughs> well, I'll be Kip in the flesh. A pleasure to see you again. Uh, patch off by talking the visor. Oh, uh, maybe. I think it is the visor, actually. Oh, we'll try that in a second. This is what they call serendipity. It is, isn't it? That settles it. You've got to help me find the inspector. I was hoping you would silently agree. So, I've been trying to calculate the trajectory the inspector took when he was catapulted into the sky again. I've triple-checked my figures included. He must have landed somewhere here in Ishgard. Unfortunately, the investigation has not been proceeding as smoothly as I would have hoped. But now that you're here, we're sure to make some progress. Come, let's speak with the merchants and see if anyone has had dealings with the gentleman the Highlander. Bust the Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Oh my god, I'm jealous. Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Do be kind of busting, though. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the sub, Erna. Uh, I, every time I go through this, I'm so sorry. Uh, Erna Sietia. Please tell me I got that right again. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> thank you for the resub. It's been that long, hasn't it? It is a very nice hat, yes. It's it's very, very good. I like it. I like Postman hat. Demi the do you say, my apologies, cannot say I've had dealings with the man that you describe. Probably turn my defiance on. Gotta be a good tank and turn my tank stance on. <laughs> uh, let's display headgear. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, okay. So does the visor. Interesting. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Hey, madam, uh, are you looking for someone, a generally Highlander? Hmm. I not this man of whom you speak, but Mayhat, Mistress Elaise does. She is well acquainted and rather a lot of merchants and noblemen. Pictures call me Ernie for some... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, right. I have to throw chat up. Sorry about that. I kind of keep forgetting to do that. Dragonspit calls it somebody. It could be the shorthand. I, I try very hard not to shorthand names if I can't, because if or if I can avoid it. But it's I think that's a between streamer thing. Several warm welcome to you. How may I be of service? The PvP set goes kind of hard, actually. I just did, don't like the helmet. Early? Yes, I am early because I have to get through the rest of Hildebrand before starting Shadowbringers. So it's going to be a wild day. Gentlemen, the Highlander, you say. Now that I think about it, I have heard of a foreigner who may be the man whom you seek. <laughs> begging, begging your pardons, Miss. Did you say you know Inspector Hildebrand? An acquaintance of yours, I presume? I do not know his name, only that he is here by invitation of Lord Edmund, or so it is rumored. Surely, as a ward of House Forta, it would be a trifling matter to go and ask him uh, after him for the man ask for him at the manor. Yes. <laughs> uh, cute and small seems uh, big and strong. Cute doesn't work the same. Yeah, it, it works a little differently. I knew, it was, I knew it was serendipity to Fortal Manor. Because ARR was like four parts. So I'm very curious to know how many parts this is going to be. There were, there were effectively four acts in the ARR Hildebrand questline. The end of Stormblood? Yeah, it should only be like the same length. Uh... It should be the same length that it was, right? The same length of uh, ARR Hildebrand. I keep getting told to do Hildebrand, so therefore I'm here doing Hildebrand. <laughs> should you? Absolutely. I guess that's fair. Let's see how we're feeling by the end of Heaven's Word. We require assistance. I'd also like for VOD purposes to get all of Hildebrand out of the way before I start Shadowbringers. So you have your proverbial beach episode, so to speak. So as you say, at this time, Lord Edmund is entertaining a foreign guest. Huzzah, we found the good inspector. If I'm not mistaken, their meeting should be ending shortly. If you like, you may retire to the gazebo and wait for the guests to depart. Gazebo, aren't those dangerous? Then again, you seem a responsible sort. Not like a little wild gazebo run luck Very well, I humbly accept your offer. Oh no, this is going places. And if it wakes up, I'll have you to protect me. It, yes, that's the one. 
<laughs> Comedy for the feelings. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of the... Uh, can I... I can't say that on Twitch. A little bit of the, the, the before play. Before space play, right? Before... <laughs> Lair of the Dead gives you... I did never even actually... I didn't notice it. I knew there was a reference to something. I just didn't know what it was. This stove, this heater, I feel would go super hard. I'm kinda jealous of it. The Inspector Hildebrand. Is it a bait and switch? Is it not? I can't well imagine how arduous your journey must have been. Truth be told, I found the brisk hearth and air to be rather invigorating. It simulates the body and mind both a welcome benefit that one must discuss matters of commerce. I dare say, if you would not have accomplished so much otherwise. There you are, Inspector. We're looking over for you. <laughs> yep, there. Well, that, that that is Anne Manderville. <laughs> that is a Manderville. Who do you see before? Not one, but two of my beloved son's faithful companions. <laughs> Lord Godbert, but I thought... Old DNG joke. That's why I totally went over my head then. Hildy and Ishgard, it's first I've heard of it. Aha, I found you last, heretic. What do you mean? Who, who's, the, who's the heretic? What? What heretic? No, you don't mean surely, surely not Godbert. Yes, you, the whole keeper with the mad gleam in his eye. Your brazen heresy is plain for all to see. Surrender yourself to the Inquisition. The Inquisition has come for Godbert Manderville. Will Godbert Manderville allow them to take him is the other question. <laughs> I beg your pardon. This man is an old on merchant. He is at the death of House Fortan. Such baseless accusations will not be tolerated. I guess to House Fortan, then, then he couldn't possibly... Well, there were two wards that, but they were acquitted of all charges by trial by combat. And if you dance the right two, then a person have to. Oh dear! <laughs> the, the squats, <laughs> squat. <laughs> this this is a, that that is a uh, intimidation tactic. Just to squat and stare directly at her. Th that that is an intimidation tactic. <laughs> That's apologies, good sir. I spoke out of turn. I am Sir, and as you may have guessed, I'm an inquisitor who has been charged with investigating reports. They were rather this is possibly heretical individual. Oh, oh, a heretic, you say? The one who bears passing resemblance to me. I, a man rather muscular, wearing dark garments and putting himself in somewhat gentlemanly fashion, as some might say. This heretic sounds like a spitting image of Inspector Hildebrand. Could he be a fan? Say again, you're acquainted with such a man? See, and the man you're looking for is Lord Godbert's son. Both was and was not a bait and switch. You are correct, yes. It was both. The investigations may be connected, so I put to you a proposal. The first reported sighting is the heretic I'm tracking came from Falcon's Next. Mayhap we take a journey there together. It is, after all, possible that we're seeking the self same individual. If so, and if he is in innocent, be for the best uh, if you are present when I apprehend him and it might resolve this matter without incident. So we go with him. It's our best lead yet. Acquainted with the strong. We're right. <laughs> then I shall accompany you all. It's been far too long since I laid eyes on my beloved son. Chance might be reunited. I should be glad to seize it. Yes, it is an early stream because I want to get most of Hildebrand out of the way. That is then it is settled. We shall leave Falcon's Nest at once. So the one I'm miss so technically for this glam that I found on Aerosian database, this one, I'm missing two things. I'm missing Dragon Song Reprise Ultimate Axe of the Battle Axe of the Heavens. Which is, of course, an ultimate. That's ultimate content. Which, that's going to be a while for me. But that is something that I'm going to have to do at some point. And I'm missing, I think it's like... Lunar Envoy's... <clears throat> Lunar Envoy's leggings, I think. Was what pulled it together. But that's obviously Endwalker. So all the more reason that I need to get to Endwalker as fast as I, as fast as I can. I also want to do Island Sanctuary for the Catters. The Catter hoodie. That, that's on my list. Because Kryle adds the hair. Adds Kryle's hair. Kryle's hood is... Nah, not, not my cup of tea. The cat ears, yes. Not so much the fact that it adds that. Uh, yes, I know my warrior bar is scuffed. I need to look for a warrior bar. Like a 90 warrior bar. Captain Tet not on fire. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Weapon glams personally. Oh, I, I will at some point. I will. <laughs> Mr. Mister, so these are your traveling companions.
Mysterious muscular vagabond. Ah, yes. Patrol sighted him lurking near Dust Vigil, thinking he might be a lost traveler. They called out to him, but rather than approach, he fled. My friend, I'm surprised you have bothered to come this way. The sighting barely warranted a mention in my report. Ah, the unmistakable sense of heresy. Oh, there's just going to be heresy jokes. There's going to be a 40k joke in here somewhere, right? There's got to be. Terribly sorry. Old habit I picked up with my mentor. I know, I know. I'll rush to judgment as before. So much as I hope you find your missing inspector, I must confess some small desire that we indeed unearth the lingering pocket of heresy. Like this seem to be virtually no confirmed instances of heretical misdeeds. Gotten so bad, some are speculating our funding may be reduced, or worse, the Inquisition's operations might come under review. That is why, alone as my witness, I will find and bring heretic <laughs> a heretic to justice. Prove that our order still has value in these uncertain times. Yes, I understand your reasons, reasons, but whether or not this vagabond is a heretic remains to be seen. Still, if you are just set upon the course, you might begin your search near Dusk Vigil. Excellent suggestions, Sir Redwald. Should we succeed in our endeavor, rest assured, you will share in the glory. Cole does not bother this man. Actually, well, didn't we have confirmation that his clothes are actually just a glam? Like, the boots might be actual boots, but are his clothes actually just a glam? Not continues onward to Dust Vigil. I'm told that the region is especially cold. So don't forget to dress properly for the weather. Yes, I know where Dust Vigil is. You can technically miss it. I actually did miss it until almost like post uh, Heaven's Word. Dust Vigil is a missable dungeon. But no, uh, I'm, I need to see how. I want to look at the Shinryu weapons. I want to see how the Shinryu axe is. And because I, I gotta go grind Shinryu Extreme anyways, so I'm gonna get materials anyways. I want to see how that looks. And then I'm going to see what weapon glam I want. But eventually, I will have to... Do, I mean, eventually, I want to do Dragon Song uh, Ultimate. That is the eventual goal. So, cool. I have a goal to look forward to to get a very specific uh, Ultimate weapon. I mean, it might take me 20 hours. But, I mean, you know, <laughs> being generous, right? As long as you have time, I hear Ultimates. Really, anyone can clear it. As long as you have the time and mechanical skill. And obviously, know what you're doing. Which... There, there are video essays out there, so that also helps. <laughs> Isn't that the very first dungeon you unlock? Nope, you do not. It is not a mandatory unlock, actually. You can absolutely miss Dust Vigil, because I did miss it until almost post. I still had your hand, you filthy parchments of hair. <laughs> 20 hours for an ultimate, right? It, you're like, oh, that, that's that's being cute. That's being incredibly generous. No, it's going to be more like... 200, 300, let's be real. Especially for Dragon Song reprise or Dragon Song uh, Ultimate. But that is an eventual goal. <laughs> no, I don't know yet. I know Rev has clears. I, I've you know talked to other people who have ultimate clears. I know Joe Cat spent a lot of time on his. But that was uh, Omega. It was done by a play frame Joe Cat during uh, Quest Voices 4 Parts Act. Took 3 hours, 12 minutes total. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Stormblood might be an issue then. It's the two main categories. Scott the Waz, Mr. Video Games. I have to, I'll just look into that. I don't know how it's going to perform. Trying to bulk out my backlog again. This man, he, he, dre he dresses... I love him. Fury, take me. It's freezing. This is a waste of time. No living thing could survive in this godforsaken wasteland. What about... What about zombie brand? <laughs> Over there, look, someone's coming from the vigil. Inspector, is that you? No, you can go back. No, you can... Um, when I say missable, you can miss it, quote-unquote. You Meaning you can still go back and unlock it, but it's not mandatory for progression. As I live and breathe, all place to be reunited with Master Zombie Brands compatriots. How fair are you in this fine afternoon? <laughs> it's because he's a zombie. Mark a heretic raised from the dead by his brothers in holy magics. No, he's not a heretic. He's one of the gentle dead men. <laughs> Brings you so far from old Ogid, sir. Well, you know, ours is but a rather lonely existence. So when we heard rumors of an abandoned fortress held by zombies, we were delighted. I was chosen to serve as an emissary and sent out immediately. Alas, he's an effort for naught. Technically, we would have cleared it out at this point in time. No, no, I'm sorry. He is dressing appropriately. See, he has a top on now. He is dressing appropriately, and he, and he has a little, little pant. Surely everyone last one dead. Let's say er, irrevocably dead. Uh, if it was necessary, then so be it. Still, after coming all this way, it's more a little disappointing, you understand. Well, yeah, because we had a stone vigil. It was like a 51 dungeon, I think. Calculation's wrong. The inspector didn't land in Kurthus. 
Now, now, don't fret so. If, if it is our overload you seek, then you are in luck. As the founder of the Gentle Deadman, our fates and our ether are inextricably entwined. In fact, I can feel it calling me now. Truly good, sir. You can guide us to Inspector Hildebrand. Surely as my rotting nose can lead me to fresh brains. Follow me, my friends. Oh my god, they're going so hard. Invoke people bond. Okay, but that depends on uh, that depends on the state. Like that's so ugh, I hate Karen's. Karen's and firearm stores especially. God, they drive me up a wall. One hit one must remain vigilant for heresy, for can manifest in myriad ways. Tis a vile insidious sickness which must be needs turned burned out ere the infection take hold. Surely zombification would qualify, yes. Don't worry about it, it's fine. No, at that point, the store can just trespass her. Confounded. The, it's it's like how if I got a call and somebody was threatening legal action me, right? Like when I worked at the financial institution. Hey, I'm going to sue you guys. Okay, well, uh, you know, you, you may speak to our legal team next. I do have to hang up the call at this point in time, right? When you say certain things, grats, you have effectively rolled for initiative and the store can't actually trespass you. Who do they think they are come to the investigation and playing a zombies of bloodhound? It beggars belief. You must regain control of the situation. Follow me. <laughs> uh, where the hell? It's over there. No, at that point, the way you deal with the situation is the store would have to deal with it, and honestly, they could just trespass, just trespass them, and they don't get to come back. Just you deal with it by not dealing with it and holding them accountable. Want you to roll for I, I, I see you joke, but I, I hear that's how Waffle House works. You just walk into a Waffle House and you just roll for initiative. Sit down. What did I miss? Uh, you missed. Uh, you missed T. You missed the uh, the Epic of Alexander. Hold a moment, my friends. Must needs concentrate. Master Zombie Brand is indeed nearby. If there's also something else, may have the powerful magic confounding my senses and guide you no further. Split up and search the area. Now see here, these wastes are infested with wild beasts, and you would have a split up. Keep command to myself, yes. And if you clearly no reason to fear death, what of Mistress Nashu? Ah, take your meaning, my good zombie. Can't proceed to the lady's protection. If you take my meaning, my good uh wow, okay, I guess we just skip that. <laughs> is it a sir? Would you care to take the lead? Come on, you see the inspector's out there somewhere. Nah, you've literally missed nothing. We we just started. I explained my postman hat as uh, as my glam, and then I need to do nid uh N nid hog. I need to do dragon song ultimate to get the weapon, the axe. And that was literally it. That was all we were talking about. <laughs> Look, that's got to be the inspector. That is a yeti. Those are those are yeti. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend himself, surrounded by a pair of fluffy man-shaped gazebos. No, <laughs> name a lady. Those are no mere gazebos. Note their re regal bearing. They are gentlemen gazebo. Oh my God, please. Gruesome yet fastidious. Fastidious. That's a word. Foes would surely tear rotting limb from rotting limb. Just use uh, use use dental floss implement. What is it? Godskin peeler. Dual godskin peeler with blood uh, enhancements. Great. It's actually broken. You can say master zombie brain now. No, yeah, we're just gonna go up and talk to him. Fine. Oh, we're not gonna go up and talk to them, are we? Damn. Kip, you shouldn't power level to 90. I have multiple characters at 90. If when I have to go back and do content, it just makes it that much easier to go through. <laughs> I still enjoy it regardless. Yep, those are th them, them legs. Spectre, can you hear me? We've been looking all over for you.
Oh, but this one, dude, we've got to get you out of there before you catch cold. Uh, <laughs> this, this does not look like this is going to go places. Up and up, time, everyone is waiting for you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Give me for plenty harder. My arms are like stare. <laughs> it's okay. Godbert Manderville's on the case. There, I heard shouting. Have you perchance found something? <laughs> Fury, take me. Is that the heretic? Confound it. I wanted him alive. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He's alive. Spectre Hildebrand is definitely not a heretic. Probably not dead either. He's he's just hibernating like last time. But he was ever the late riser. Fear not. My wife and I had our ways of waking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we about to see Goldsmith LB2? <laughs> she she knows not. What are you guys? Yep. <laughs> it, that is literally the first time meme. <laughs> first time. <laughs> he got some distance on that one. <laughs> well, when does Goldsmith become the next combat class, please? <laughs> <laughs> he actually just walked forward and down smashed. You are correct. <laughs> oh, Goldsmith would be the best class. Yep, and now he's buried even further. <laughs> well. Was it the Mandeville Meteor Strike or the Mandeville Meteor Drive? Ah, maybe John was right. Trying to name everything only leads to needless confusion. <laughs> hey, Miles Bar, how's it going? One more time, then. <laughs> Not you go. So, wait, what? Black Mage? What? Why? What, where did the, what, why is the Black Mage there? What's happening? <laughs> Splendidly suplexed Lord Godbert. Clothes get in the way. That's all I'm going to say. Wait, where am I? The snowy waste of Kurthus? And who are these people? Oh my god, please. Oh, he's going to blow up again. Oh no. Ah, but of course. We also ventured into inhospitable climbs. <laughs> Wake up from slumbers. Read <laughs> for my beloved fans. <laughs> this man. This man is spice. Feels though like I've stepped into a portal into an alternate reality, unbound by the laws of logic. Mind the fourth ball there. <laughs> first time. <laughs> right there, screenshot, first time. <laughs> what is this, a mammoth? Where did it come from? Oh, that why my father drew me into that. They found it buried beneath the snow. <laughs> A little Lollafellian girl, how adorable. Nashu, please. Note the firm, muscular legs, not unlike my own. Just clearly a Lollafellian boy. <laughs> what is it? You mentioned I suppose his features are rather masculine. You two cannot possibly be serious. Very soul of seriousness, good sir. Especially when it's a deduction. This is undoubtedly a young boy who, much like myself, fell into a deep slumber upon being buried beneath the snow. Now let us gently wake him and ascertain his identity. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that ought to do it. <laughs> what, what is this place? Who, who am I? <laughs> He's doing the meme speak, too. Oh, what? <laughs> what is <what's> that? <laughs> the face. Maybe, oh, so it's a nine reference. Okay. God, this is... This, this quest line is something else. I saw Silver Wolf. <laughs> Tonkai Star Rail confirmed. What? <laughs> S 
Seeing that although father's ungentle uh, administration served to restore this young boy to life, they also robbed him of his memory. How did I get here? Who am I? Why can I not remember? <laughs> Don't worry, man. Everything will be all right. Take it from me. I have lost my memory more times than I can even remember the irony in that. Then can you help me to remember? <laughs> Hearken to me now, for I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, do hereby swear to solve this, the mystery of the amnesiac hobbledehoy. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. She started a bash of Nashi's delights. Uh... Effective as explosives were in the past, the suspect young Gigi lacks the hardy constitution required to survive such an approach. Is that my name? <laughs> when you woke, you were muttering, Gigi Gigi. I was just, I, I'm Reggie Gigas moment. <laughs> suspect the phrase may hold some significance for you. So until such time as you learn your real name, so you want to adopt it as a playful moniker. But, but that's just a sound all mammics make. <laughs> what kind of imbecile goes and names a mammy Gigi anyways? <laughs> Gigi, I like this name. Thank you, kind sir. But how will this new name help me to remember who I am? <laughs> Patience, Gigi. This is only the beginning. Next, we'll turn to the city to see if we cannot find any who know who you are. Come along. Oh, I haven't done the goldsmith quest yet, to be fair. Now, another overload is safe and sound. I, too, must... Take my leave of you and return to my brothers. I dare say rigor mortis will set enough our man here any longer. And for Thanon, allow me to accompany you. Julian will give me no end of trouble if I keep her waiting much longer, though perhaps she will forgive me once I tell her of Hildy's return. This man. It's rather a lot to digest. Though you have to look, <laughs> you have look of one accustomed to such happenings. In any case, regardless of Mistress Nashu's protestations, the inspector will not be granted to access the capital until we confirm that he is not a heretic. You have my word that we will be treated fairly. There's there's heresy of some kind going on. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Oh my god, this is... Don't call it... Come, uh, go back to Foundation. I just... This whole quest line is just an absolute trip, and I love it. And it's just an excuse to break the fourth wall. And I'm here for this. Dare take me, that man. Ah, Kip. So as you've heard the news, then the Inspector Hildebrand was cleared of all suspicion and judged to be no more than an eccentric curiosity. That's the one. <laughs> He's special. <laughs> Looking for him, good luck. I wanted to thank him for his cooperation. But as soon as the Temple Knights released him, he and his assistant ran off to God's nose with the mammoth in tow. As for my investigation, sped all the twists and turns, I managed to salvage a satisfactory result. As far as the Inquisition is concerned, the suspicious vagabond was not more than a zombie, which wandered away from dust vigil, sickness, which has since been purged. So... It would seem that all is right with the world once more. For now, I have no doubt that the inspector will turn up again like a like a bad gill. And when he does, trouble is sure to follow. There it is. <laughs> I just I love it this is perfect alright so you, uh, this he finds you well Kip or at least he finds me seems I have no choice but to seek out the inspector grants him to surrender up his mammoth to me it was under the most suspicious circumstances after all and who can say what secrets or heresy it might hold therefore the inquisition would conduct a thorough inspection to see if it must need to destroy it given this vanity for uh, for the contraption I feel the inspector may not be amenable to my request nevertheless it must be made to see that the interest for public safety would you be willing to help me persuade him 
Here be praised. At least you have uh, at least you've seen reason. Let's pray he as well as well. I am given to understand that while the inspector and his assistant have been wandering all over the city with the mammoth in tow, they often frequent the gazebo near Fort Tom Manor with any luck. We'll be there now. Hildebrand goes on, the more the warrior light just starts rolling with the insanity. Yeah, I mean we've 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 felt gods and primals. Like <laughs> Hildebrand is just another another proverbial brick in the wall, so to speak. Oh, it, it is, this is Hildebrand. The, the, the camp is much, it, it's just, it's perfect. It's much appreciated. Verily shall we scour all creation from the deepest pit of the seven hells, the very pinnacle of the heavens. Hi, La Havre. <laughs> The answers we seek every day shall be filled with grand adventures, stuff for fairy tales and legends. Huzzah, a grand adventure in the deepest pit of the seven hells. <laughs> Just so, such is the creed of Hildebrand, aged of inquiry, <laughs> Spectre extraordinaire. Yep, he, he's even posing like him. Amazing. <laughs> oh my god, well posed, gee, -gee well. Well posed. I dare say you have the potential to be an exemplary inspector someday. Beings beyond more exactly. No, the Manderville the Mandervilles are just that that extra step. All right, that's enough that by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Holonic Inquiry, Inquisitory Doctrine, I hereby command you to surrender that mammoth of suspected heretical origin into my custody. Yo, where's my homie Sir Amorek? We can get this resolved real quick. <laughs> No, there are an inquisitor, sir, ever the gesture, accusing poor Gigi of being a clockwork heretic when it is plain he's merely a precious young lad. I don't know, black mages are pretty her her they're pretty heretical. <laughs> there you go again, confusing the poor girl, as if those wonderful big boxy eyes. <laughs> like the soul of femininity. <laughs> Nashu, please, were you not witness the magnificent display of Mandeville and masculinity mo mere moments ago? So you haven't taught her any better. She needs a proper role model show her what's oh no. What? What's happening? <laughs> oh, I'll, t I'll take uh, I'll take doing Saryu solo again. I would not ever try to solo any of the Mandervilles. <laughs> Kip, Inspector Sear, what's all the commotion? We can hear you from the courtyard. Lord Edmund, my sincere apologies for the disturbance. I came and seized this man on behalf of the Inquisition, a fact which I clearly explained to the inspector before you arrived. At which point they started bickering about this contraption's gender. <laughs> Same, Lord, do you think he's a boy or a girl? Oh my god. Oh my god. Really a strapping young lad, no. This is perfect. <laughs> Fury, take me, not you two. Has the whole world gone mad? <laughs> Count Edmund, the absolute just Chad. Fine, fine, but even supposing that he is a real boy, cannot determine that the circumstances of his discovery and miraculous resuscitation, or most unusually, cannot be suffered to roam the city with impunity until the Inquisition has determined he is not a threat. I beg your pardon, miraculous resuscitation? Yeah, Godbert Manderville just worked on him. It's fine. It's like the actual, like, <laughs> actual cheat code. If the of Gigi's recovers his memory, mayhap it would be best if you adopt him as ward of House Manderville. Uh, I will even stand as witness here now, if you wish. <laughs> adopt? That would make me Gigi's father? Oh no. Oh my god. It is a Pinocchio reference, yes. Doubtless the Inquisition would think better of taking any action which might threaten the cordial relationship between our two houses. Yes, yes, of course, I'll do it. I hailed around agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Do you hereby grant the child my patronage? Of House Manderville. Papa Hildy, Papa Hildy. <laughs> the inspector's finally become a father. It's it's so beautiful. Uh -huh. Now we need no longer fear the Inquisition. You are free to show Gigi more of the fair city. Indeed, I strongly encourage you to do so. Mayhap, there is the fury. Something will jog his memory. Thank you, Lord Edmund. I shall not forget this kindness. Uh, my faithful assistant, your beloved son, we must away. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> is that in the 40k player? Is that in the codex? Is this in the rule book? Can he do that? <laughs> Not uh, presume to question your grand design, but ugh, confound it all. 
Well, mayhap I cannot detain the man, <laughs> detain the man, but I'm still within my rights to observe the blast thing. Y you presume that God, the Mandervilles, both Godward and Hildebrand, do not transcend alone. <laughs> Lord Gobbert will be pleased to hear that his son is as hale and healthy as ever. Now, as ever, I would, now I would ever uh, presume to mezzle in the... Oh my god, words, Kip. I got like five hours of sleep. Because one of the videos didn't want to actually convert properly. Now that I would ever presume to meddle... It's again. Okay. Not that I would ever presume to meddle in another... half. <laughs> Certainly not without consent. God, that was wild to actually try and say. Yeah, take that fall damage. Who needs that? Exactly. No, for some reason, just the not was just impossible for me to say. Like, there's something about that sentence that just did not... Certain sentences will not agree with me, and I have yet to figure out the reasoning on them. Mm. <laughs> Come now, Gigi. You surely gaze upon such a wondrous work of Ishgardian architecture. Something within your soul. This is the grand manor of House Durant or Durant. <laughs> Melt him, Sart. Pray <laughs> <laughs> do not fill the boy the mammoth's head with such nonsense. This is Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Helonic Inquisitory Doctrine. I should know. I work there. Furthermore, I am quite certain there's no House <laughs> Durant Maltem Sart. And that, will, uh, that is rather ludicrous. Uh, portmanteau of the four high houses, including the steamed house, <laughs> recently stood as witness to your adoption. <laughs> Do you remember anything? Nothing. Imperial English. <laughs> Skip up. Dick Wizard English. He can do just fine. Exactly. Oh, it's that Dick Wizard English. I can read just fine. Hundred percent. I'd rather just say than parading it before the grandiose. Why not give him a taste of something more prosaic? Let us make our way to the holy stables that might uh, bask in these singular sights, sounds, and smells of Ishgard's famous chocobos. Amazing. He's <laughs> <to> the shrug. <laughs> I guess it's going to be next to Sky Steel. Well, I actually did another stables down here. I've never, I haven't really been down this way. I haven't really needed to. Bird. Bird. It him bird. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid specimens of horse horse bird flesh, would you not agree? In the hands of a skilled jockey, anyone could take first place at the saucer. These chocobos are the pride of Ishgardian cavalry, and any temple knight who dared exploit them for personal gain would answer to the fury herself. <laughs> How about Nagi? Do you remember anything about Ishgard? Be sure to sniff the chocobos in my <laughs> <laughs> It didn't. <laughs> you know, just because you found him in a Kurth and snowbank, it doesn't mean he hails from Ishgard. My god. That's why we ought to try taking him to the markets and exposing him to all manner of goods from across the area. Excellent suggestion, Inquisitor. <laughs> It's not wrong. Wait, am I not complicit in this farce? Fury, forgive me. <laughs> it's okay, you get used to it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But I want one. Buy me a chocobo, please, father. What? What's happening? Haunting this kid? That strange looking thing is staring at us. <laughs> Am I that strange looking? Oh. 
it's okay. People just look at us black mage is different. People tell us suck at black mage all the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you get used to it. Gentlemen, it was like it just gets weird. Yeah, no, I that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're here. True Black Mage built different. Yes, suck at Black Mage. You do look strange. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's fine because I have my Postman hat now. I can put that on my Black Mage. I can be extra spicy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sudden music stop got me. It was great. Vase. <laughs> Why bother? It's no use. Now, no, Kiki. You must not give in despair so easily. Did I not promise you days filled with grand adventures and eventual discovery of your mislaid memories? Spirits, Kiki. Spirits. No! Not the vase! It's okay. His father can fix up that vase. <laughs> hey, Tamsin. Amazing. <laughs> My word, a vase flung to the ground with reckless abandon. Could this be the opening salvo of an indiscriminate campaign of vandalism? <laughs> when waged by your wild gesticulations, perhaps... At least look before you strike a pose that constantly know how much that vase cost. 123,504,000 gil at last assessment was over 700 years old and graced the homes of a dozen archbishops, eight counts, two lord commanders, and one duke. 100... 100... Is, is this... The Austin Powers reference? 100 million gil. <laughs> Alone, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> okay, it repaired. <laughs> well, would you look at that? <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about how that works. It's a miracle, yay, the divine intervention of yourself. Did I do that? Gigi, my boy, that was marvelous. You're a porn artisan, just like father. Papa, Hildy's papa. <laughs> Your grandpa Godbert, the man who woke you with a few gentle taps on the noggin, you wouldn't believe what else he can do with that hammer of his. Why, some folks say he wields the powers of life and death. You know, I, I would believe that, actually. When seeing the missus come back from their tour of the Western Highlands, I'm sure they'd love to see that trick of yours. Do not demean the mammoth's power as a mere parlor trick. We just witnessed a miracle, and I demand that you all acknowledge it. <laughs> this mammoth. Sir, I say, sir, 100 million gil for the mammoth. Nay, 100 million gil and the Duke's priceless face. Nah. Well, she, that's the thing, is she can see the value in that. Where is my word? Is this what passed our trade in Nishgard? Gigi is my flesh and blood. I will not sell him at any price. <laughs> Please, Papa Hildy, no more. No, you mean Bell. But we cannot deny the truth. No longer I am a mammoth. <laughs> Gigi, what has ever has gotten into you? You're my son. You are a Mandeville man. <laughs> Listen to your papa, Gigi. You're a mandible girl. Oh my god, please. Nashu, please. Stop, both of you. You're not my mom or my mama. <laughs> rebellious. Rebellious teenager face. Uh, time range would have been Don Trail range class. Use Gigi as evidence. Right? I mean, it seems like that'd be just time reversal. Specific area time reversal. This is only to be expected Gigi's at the rebellious days. Strange as it may sound, I too tested my parents' patience. <laughs> Not one, one, more than one occasion. But if they could weather the storm, then so can I. Oh my god. So they found out what's gotten. I'm thinking he's a mammoth. <laughs> but he is a mammoth. Okay, oh, never mind. 
actually, this man is actually getting gaslit. Of course, the father who never did run through thy Hildebrand guardian, Gigi, doing toting parent extraordinaire shall find a way to overcome this trial and be reconciled with my beloved son. That's the spirit solving a simple case of childhood rebellion could be easy enough for a man. So unmasked thieves, defeated duelists, and led armies of the undead. Yes, yes, that's all very... Wait, what was this about the undead? Actually, don't don't tell me, for now. All that matters is finding the mammoths. We should be... Oh, excuse me. We should begin by speaking with the sentries surrounding the city gates and the airship landing. If Fury help us, he has left Discard. We need to know about it sooner rather than later. If this is the Ark of the Worthy. While the inspector and assistant head to the airship landing, you can question the guard at the gate near the manufactory. We will regroup there and share our findings. Dismissed. Okay, so we're in a sky steel manufactory. This is I was I was curious how they were gonna follow up a realm reborn. There are some definite hijinks here. Gigi, we don't question the Hildebrand quest. We don't. Gigi's doing the number one thing. Just don't question the, that you shouldn't do. Question the Hildebrand quests. It just makes sense. It just works. Little fellow with the wide brim hat, I came through here, bought a pass on a supply ship bound for Falcons, and that's one of them whose who's name Lala Fells, right? Funny little bugger, seems keen to be anywhere but here. <laughs> one of them, Lala Fells. <laughs> oh my god, it's like Genbu. It's the, the turtle from <laughs> Stormblood. He is the city, he's not by the main gates. Essentially, the airship landing have seen no one matching his description. Falcon's Nest, if you're taking us, return to that freezing pit of despair. Wherever Gigi goes, I will follow and find him and embrace him as my son once more. <laughs> However, I surmise our final destination lies far beyond the walls of said outpost. Indeed, the more brilliant eastern return to the frozen wastes. You frolic in the snow and cast his worries to the wind. That, that's the one. <laughs> the extra dialogue with the Lollafell. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. He was a uh, nobody to frolic when last I saw him. As I recall, he used his arcane powers to mend the vase only to become morose and belligerent when it came uh, clear to him that he was, in fact, a mammoth. <laughs> I won't even say he remembered what he was, remembered his purpose, and he returned to the Western Curthus, the famous breeding ground for heresy, which is where he first found him. <laughs> home, home to his heretic masters to share with him the intelligence he had gathered on the city. Long last, the undeniable, the unquestionable, the unmistakable scent of heresy. What are we standing around for? We have a heretic to catch. Basically boils down to uh present company expensing course, right? Which I'm starting to think the Inquisitors here might not think very highly of our little girl. <laughs> it is possible, but I would not presume to the feelings ere he voiced them explicitly. <laughs> so this time he says we should endeavor to surreptitiously bring him around to the opinion that Geek is a boy, pure of heart, good intent. Subtly of all things not you. That is the Mandrival way. Subtlety is not the Mandrival way. You're as subtle as a brick. <laughs> that, of course, is the subtext here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, you're the exception, but he's thinking, oh, no, I'm going to get stabbed by the War. <laughs> it's one thing to get stabbed by the Warrior of Light. What's another thing to get stabbed by the Warrior of Light? That is a Lollafell. That, that is just something. That, that is just some next level stuff. Ha, I knew it. The mammoth immediately left the outpost and looks to have headed north along the river by the fury. I cannot wait to finally catch him in the company of heretics. Not much like your tone, Inquisitor. If every girl runs afoul of any heretics, she'd look them square in the eye and tell them she doesn't want any. <laughs> nah, I don't want any of that there heresy. Nope. Inspector, I think I uh, just had one of those moments, you know, the insight. Maybe Geeky came out here to find Lord Godbert to tell her her grandpa might like that trick of hers. Brilliant deduction, Ashi must be eager to meet his grandparents. they will same one uh, once he renounced when he declared you were not his father. What a fine young gentleman eager to explore his heritage. Let us make case, my friends, for the reunion of three generations of Manderville's beckons. And Kidu. Flaps. Really can't be bothered. <laughs> yes, the Mandervilles have the subtlety of actual nuclear weapons. 
as a monk, so stabbing would be punching. Exactly. When your when your when your punch is actually equivalent to just a a really hard stab. <laughs> God, that's the next one. That's one of the next classes I gotta raise. My monk is at like sixty. I still got I still have a little ways with my monk. Guys, continue to the north. Snake. <laughs> okay, these two would be like there would be craters of actually hold up. The dead wolf <laughs> there are dead animals around them from the snowballs. <laughs> oh my god. That's the subtext there. They throw the snowballs so hard. They're fine. But the animals <laughs> actually just perish. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Man, lies motionless in the snow, fragments of ice stuck in its caps. Just the impact of something small around traveling at high speed. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, I heard that there's. Uh, I heard about the Tonberry deep lore, which is pretty fun. My head, who, who, oh, it's you. You followed me. You wanted to have a snowball fight with your grandparents. You should have said so earlier. Papa Hildur is very worried. But he's glad that you're here unharmed. It seemed that he was struck by a snowball, much like these Steinbocks. These dead Steinbocks. Are you sure he isn't damaged? <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a snowball. <laughs> your blow to the head could fell our Gigi. We Mandervilles are made of sterner stuff. I myself have been driven headfirst to the earth no fewer than two dozen occasions, several times from mom's above, and my mind is no less brilliant for the experience. <laughs> I expect the earth was no less brilliant for the experience. I, there, why are you, are you nodding? Oh, he's behind me, isn't he? <laughs> the intimidation tech. Put good fortune across paths with you. Th uh, a lot so far from civilization. Forgive me for not taking notice earlier. I was engrossed in my duel with Julian. <laughs> but how rude of me. Would you care to join us? Grandpa Godbert, Grandpa Godbert. Mama Nashu says... What is that? Oh, it's wield. Okay. It's the, the, the I and the L were... Flip, uh, not clipping. The, the I and the L just a weird font. You wield the powers of life and death. I beg you, Grandpa Gobbert, grant me life. Make me a real boy. Oh, no. Is, is the ruse up? Is is this ruse? Is it is it finally at an end? Godbert Manterville, the actual just god. <laughs> Are you sure about this? This may sting a little. <laughs> I will endure whatever it is. I must become a real boy. <laughs> it's. I love that it's just a glam. <laughs> True unbridled power. Let us begin. All I'm saying, Goldsmith is actually just. It didn't, now it's just a Lollafell. <laughs> just a Lollafell body. This body, it's everything I ever wanted. It's perfect. Thank you, Grandpa Godbert. Thank you. But I've not even begun to begin. I've not even begun to begin. Arcot, guide my hammer. <laughs> there, there, I just... <laughs> what? <laughs> Goldsmith LB1 looking great. <laughs> not you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he is in fact a Manderville man. <laughs> yeah, there he is. This is how us black mages think we look like in endgame content. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Hildy, I'm a Manderville man. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you must not come here. You follow me. Have a good look at you. <laughs> oh, the, the the slow the slow run. This this is this is amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. It's perfect. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. I'll, are we going to talk about how Godbert Mandeville apparently created matter from ma just matter from nothing? Gigi has become massive swole, if you will. <laughs> Lemon Break has been engaged. Just lays him out. <laughs> Ready to try? Yeah, no. G g I feel like Pint. This is Pint. This is Pint's Black Mage video. 10,000 hours of Black Mage. This is how I imagine Pint. <laughs> <laughs> oh what a perfect quest line <laughs> now that brings back some memories <laughs> Oh dear, what could, who could have done such a thing? <laughs> it's okay, it's just instinct at that point. Oh, Just like the vase all over him, Rax is stored to its original form. Want to want to start explaining? We, we in fact do just need to start bringing. We need just mining equipment. Have just an entire like set of mining gear at any point in time. Where upon further consideration, I believe that this body may suit you best. It is how should I put this more manageable <laughs> and much more adorable? And how can I ever be accepted as Jennifer our main mammoth? I love this. Is that what's in troubling all this time? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> didn't he say that? Mandeville is more than flesh and bone. He is vigor, passion, honor, a gentleman from all seasons. <laughs> you man or machine, it makes no difference. If they call you a mammoth, you may look in the eye and say nay. I am a Manderville mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> Other father, for keeping not consulting with you earlier, but circumstances forced my hand. I formally adopted Gigi as my son in the ward of House Manderville. Ye gods, I knew he was fond of the mammoth, but did you hear that woman? Our son's gone and got him all of a sudden. <laughs> Grandpa Godbert, Grandpa Godbert. <laughs> all makes sense now, Grandpa Godbert and Grandma Julian. I've been waiting years to hear those words. Grandpa Godbert, Grandma Julian. <laughs> Few things in life are grander than becoming a grandparent, as they say. Ah, got him. <laughs> how does how does she feel? Oh no, she's gonna lay them both out. She she is about to absolutely just like double Larry at them. So what? And what is so bloody grand about it? <laughs> <laughs> when the culinarian pops LB3. <laughs> this is amazing. 
<laughs> she, she's giving them a little bit of a head start. Oh, she'll catch up to them. They can't run. They can't escape. <laughs> I'll be made grandmother to a bloody budgering, buckering mammoth. It's passed on my beat some sense into my beloved boy. Oh, no. Oh, that. So, so about the mining equipment, we're going to need an entire, like, rig. An entire just setup. <laughs> Fury take me for the tales of dark nights before, but no, no, it can't be. No, I think there's something far worse heretical like us not. But rules be damned, I'm risking my life to find out. <laughs> oh, they're about to... She, she's about to prove if Hollow Earth theory is real. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. They're mad, utterly mad, the whole damn lot of them. How that house could rise such prominence, I will never understand. It is not for the likes of us mortals to understand. Well, <laughs> at least that mammoth seems to have overcome an existential crisis. I don't know a mammoth could ever have an existential crisis. <laughs> now, the more you know. Reading Rainbow. What am I saying? It's a mammoth. Why should I care what it claims to think or feel? You're taking the ADC is infectious. I mustn't allow myself to fall prey to it. Follow procedure, report your sphere one step at a time. One step at a time. Yep, you do that. <laughs> oh no, not the Assians. <laughs> Culinary unleashes inner beast accurate. I guess the teepees are manageable. If my life was mid, exactly, exactly, Corky. Hey, right there, my spirits have been informed of the famine's adoption by House Mandeville. As witnessed by House Papa, proceeded to take me, uh, proceeded to take me to task my gross mishandling of the situation. <laughs> They're making convinced the mammoth is a product of radical machinations, and have commanded me to my efforts to prove this incontrivable inc act. It may prove problematic, however, as Gigi seems to have forsaken his quest to recover his memories and thrown himself whole into his new life as a Mandeville mammoth, casting about any heat of a uh, case alongside his doting father. Even I do not share my superiors conviction. I think it is safe to say that there's something exceedingly unusual about that mammoth you saw with your own eyes so effortlessly restored the vase and itself to its original form. Reconstruction magic not particularly rare, but is unlike any I have ever seen before. I was wondering if when we're going to get to the next one. So this is, this seems like this is the breaking point. Amazing. <laughs> I feel like it's going to have three of these rather than the four air our head. I feel like that's the pacing, but I don't know that how many quests there are actually in the Heaven's Word variant. You stand here before me as proof that hello and smiles upon me this day. Need your assistance, Kip, and, uh, and before you think to run away screaming terror, I pray you hear me out. It concerns the esteemed and now missing and presumed dead knights of the Heaven's Ward. None have returned to the capital all since the unpleasantness began. Yeah, we have a whole room of these uh, honored sirs walking in the streets. Paris, you must foul us, say, and I mean to get to the bottom of this, but we will need all the help we can get, which means fear take me, and from certain individuals, serendipity. So if you don't seek him out, it's like to show up at the worst possible time anyways. To be on our terms and keep an eye on that boy. Mammon, mammon. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you must be wondering why I asked you to come. Well, uh, you and the inspector seem to enjoy natural rapport, so. Graceful for a moment, I was afraid you'd make me beg. This may well be my last chance to prove my worth to my superiors, and if I can't, it's for Tom Manor. <laughs> Four sets of two for Heaven's Word. Okay. So then Stormblood's gonna follow a similar path then. So yeah, we'll we'll have to we'll probably follow that same formula then. It's gonna be the two episodes break, two episodes. Yeah. So it's this is gonna be like an entire like month and a half. Oh, this is gonna be a month and a half episode, isn't it? Or uh, literally the beach episode after Stormblood going into Shadowbringers. The the uh, 
<laughs> Thank you for the raid. How's it going? Five sets of two. Ugh. We got a raid. Ready your greetings. Nice, nice. Geese favors unbecoming of a gentleman. But why? Why is unbecoming? Why is it unbecoming of a gentleman? Ah, Inquisitor Sirix. <laughs> Good morning to you both. Are you coming? You're doing fans or on business? Hi, Raiders. How's it going? What were you guys playing? Always business. You may rest assured. I held an agent of inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire. I'm at your service. Is it robbery, murder, tax evasion, uh, avoision? Wait, <laughs> before we get into that, what's going on here? I finished the Heavensward Hildy quest and started this. Nice, nice. Awesome. Hey, they're very, very good. I'm very curious to see where this is going to go. I figured I would take a little bit of a, uh, a detour before diving right into Shadowbringers. Things to admit. Gigi, the apple of my eye, the fruit of my loins. <laughs> oh, no. It's a to deface this lovely gazebo naturally as, as his father calls me to see him return to a straight and narrow. Not true. I was drawing a family crest for our home. <laughs> now, Gigi, I know you're fond of the gazebo as, as, as we are, but it belongs to Lord Edmund. You wouldn't want to steal from Uncle Edmund, wouldn't you? I, I guess not. Then where is our gazebo? <laughs> when, does it have a warm stove with the steaming kettle? <laughs> Oh, Gigi, don't you see? We have no need of kettles and gazebos. As gentlemen inspectors, the world is our oyster. We can go where, whether we please, where the red fern grows, so the wild rose blooms. Oh, my God. The Heavensward ones so far are proving very, very fun, I will say. Phil Rock. Yes, we are in the Comedy 14 experience is what's happening. Been sleeping Lord Edson's gazebo for how long? Don't care about wild roses. I want to live in a gazebo with <laughs> Are quite expensive and dangerous if not domesticated. Oh my god, the gazebo jokes. Whoa, come on now. <laughs> dangerous indeed, my boy. And besides, we are gentlemen inspectors, free to travel the length and breadth of Eorzea. So, your case, does that not sound more thrilling than whittling away at hours beneath the gazebo? I guess. Is she <laughs> if it's a case you want, you need not go so far. We're currently investing in reports of individuals masquerading as Knights of the Heaven's Ward. These contendable charlatans are rumored to have tricked several hapless maidens into attending private parties for small fee with the promise of enjoying company with these grand sirs. Those who are foolish enough to attend found their experience to be so traumatizing they are refusing to discuss them in detail. Needless to say, it's just a matter would be greatly appreciated. For you, shall receive due compensation. Say no more, Inquisitor. Say no more. Hi, Hildebrand. Agent McQuarrie. Inspector extraordinary. I'm well versed in the ways of the fair sex. No, Hildebrand. Being confused about what a gazebo is is great. It's 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 great. I love it. I love her. Since when? <laughs> oh no, uh, Mother dearest, I was under the impression you had departed for Olda. The dread gazebo. I have not. No, this is flying right over my head. Leave my beloved boy. Keep on playing and being an inspector. Well, as a father to a bloody mammoth, bugger that. You're coming home right this instant. How can you say such thing? It's my life's calling to be an inspector. And Kiki is my son. He's a Manderville man. Grand. <laughs> Grand is... <laughs> as it is, see you. You've come at the most inopportune time. The young men of Ishgard... Or sorry, young women of Ishgard are in need of a champion to defend them from fiends most foul. Is this the Julian episode? Come, Nashu. Come, Kiki. We shall demonstrate to my mother our peerless in investigative skills and bring these criminals to justice. Kind of reminds me of Wind Waker lettering actually i kind of like this outfit that, that jacket house policy stubborn probably gets it from his bloody s sorry arse of a father <laughs> just let help me keep out of trouble right and come along oh my god no it's t no no <laughs> could have gone better and worse let's not keep them waiting I mean, I, I thought it was, yeah, like Gazebo and Gazelle. But if it is a very old D&D &D reference, I applaud the team. That, that is some, some deep lore right there. Oh, wait, no, I don't need to actually go there. I thought it was uh, the other area. God, this... This is amazing. And it's so it's amazing because I've also gotten like five hours of sleep since I last did this. Because one of them just refused to actually convert one of the VODs. Man, satisfaction, such a terrible vengeance. How dare they prey upon these emotions line the pocket with Gil. If Sir Sherbur were here, he heard a lot of them like the festering sickness they are. Yes, the P2 remains missing so much of pity. 
So I'm also, I'm a little like sleepy, a little uh, tired, if you will. That's when I laugh the most is when I'm like partially sleep deprived or actually just entirely sleep deprived. Please do not think me so foolish to fall for the charade. From what you have heard of the others said knights bore not even the slightest resemblance to the heaven's word. If I not already memorized every detail of my dearest Sir Adult Phil's face, wherever could he be? Am I truly outside her grace? My allowance all gone to waste on those. Ugh, dare not say it. Those awful rumors are true, mayhap. I need to accept. He now walks in Lone's halls. Hi, how's it going, Warscar? car? I do actually, I do really like Ishgard as a locale, as a, as a city. I love it. Papa Hill, <laughs> that grandma over there is staring at us. Now, Geeky, gentlemen, must be more careful with this word. First of all, you have only one grandmother. Second, this is tremendously important. Never, ever call her that. At least not yet, promise. <laughs> yes, Father, well, promise not to call Grandma J <laughs> Julie and Grandma Ma Julian. <laughs> Greetings, Malay. Oh, no. Oh, ain't you the charmer? There, I was thinking you might have to rip your bloody head off. You've said the G word one more time. <laughs> like that. Oh, man. So I, I feel it's been kind of a sleepy day. I, th I feel that. My faithful assistants, have you gleaned any new information? Other than the fact that these women's scorned seem to test the fake knights with every fiber of their being. Two women were telling me all that they do if they were cornered, sir. Oh, no. The best you could do then. Bloody oaths and girlish fantasies, and you call yourself a Mandeville man. <laughs> I assure you that we're only getting started. Capture lies, the deception behind which the truth lies is oft unraveled with a tug of single loose thread. Say, young lady, I would beg but a moment of your time. Hey, amazing. <laughs> so, my dot young lady was targeted by the charlatans we seek. Ah, uh, it is true. I was taken in by the false promises of those awful, awful men. See? It's all about the intuition. The Manderville intuition. Long waiting for the chance to meet Sir Velguin, and when they said I finally could, didn't hesitate for a moment. They escorted me to the manor, and under the blindfold, look in the hideous faces of the so-called Grand Sirs, I screamed and fled. They were gone when I returned uh, with the watch, but the neighbors said that they overheard them speaking about seeking shelter in a place called Idleshire. I know it's not much, but pray this information helps in your search. My lady, I swear to you here and now, I hailed around agent of inquiry, Inspector Extraordinary. Do not rest until these dastardly fiends are punished for their foul crimes. Zah, three cheers for Papa Hildy. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> hip hip hooray. <laughs> there you have it. Our query can be found in Idleshire. Come, my lovely assist loyal assistants. Justice waits for no gentleman. <laughs> Well, it's all well and good, but I've never heard of this Idleshire, have you? No, I've been there. You mean we're to travel to Giovanni and Hinterlands right now, just like that? Yeah. Oh, this is amazing. So what we're probably going to do... Here's how I'm going to work this. We're probably going to do the Heaven's Word ones. I'll probably hold off on the Stormblood ones, but then we'll get into Shadowbringers. And then I can uh, get to a point in Shadowbringers where I can break, and then we'll have resume from Stormblood Hildebrand for a little bit. I'd have to, I have to figure out where they're a um, where a good stopping point is when we get to that point in Shadowbringers. But we will probably have to revisit that because there is just a lot of Hildebrand to go through, and I don't want to like you know, make it feel like a slog or a chore because I'm really enjoying it. It's just kind of like too much of a good thing, right? Like you start having like, you know, two liters of soda is fine. That third liter kind of hurts. This magnificent settlement is a testament to the hard work and camaraderie of the Uplander and Gobby citizens. Well, I'm glad we're no longer being pursued by fire-breathing dragons, mustn't willing crabs, and bomb-throwing goblins, you know, the other ones. That's your lady Julian and her panifers, am I right? Want to see her make the bad cobbies fly <laughs> Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, no, just, just not to burn myself out on it. And that being said, it's a good point to like, hey, we can just revisit it at a later point. God sakes, Hildix. 
expecting to defeat a lot of dead and ditch somewhere for for me. <laughs> I would never let any harm come to my little sister or my beloved son. If I may interject. Now then, let us split us and, and question the good people of Idleshire. Make sure to keep the inspectors. My keen inspector sense tells me I must knowledge the false knights we seek. And 5.1 is a good point for a revisit. So after after base uh, shadow, well, because there's Shadowbringers Hildebrand too, right? Because at that point we could wait, we could get through burst through Shadowbringers, wait for post, and then I could probably after the credits roll, the next stream will go into Stormblood Hildebrand, go through post at the end of post before Endwalker, do uh, there's no Shadowbringers. Okay, so we'll probably do it after we before getting to post Shadowbringers then. Yes, Loudjox knows Grand Sirs, sneaky uplanders, keep the cells, mingle not with gobble flock, eats their own. Loudjox says no questions, only chicken <laughs> Okay. Okay, but we have uh Endwalker, I'm pretty sure. But that that's gotta be done at Endwalker post. Or I guess after Endwalker post. Mostly talking about them Grand Sirs. They drifted in Idleshire some time ago, as I recall pays the Grand Library, even though I couldn't tell you why. Yeah, so we'll probably end up doing it that way because that gives us... I'm itching to get into Shadowbringers. And as long as... Well, so what What about the world state change I heard? Because I was under the impression, and I'm opening this up to people that have, one, run this, two people in chat. There are world state changes with Hildebrand that are relevant in Shadowbringers or it modifies a cutscene. Is that before post or, at, or in post? So is it base Shadowbringers or post Shadowbringers? I need to know where the world state change hits to kind of prioritize this. All the Grand Series, they keep themselves in that building of theirs south of the round spot. Best watch out there, they're a dangerous bunch, liable to kill you for looking at them cockeyed. It's probably possible that I've gone completely and utterly mad, but are you perchance the long lost twin sister of guardian noble woman? Or I look behind you, a three headed coup boy. <laughs> I feel like I've not seen the last of that old woman. Amazing. The old woman is actually just, it's a bait and switch, it's a ruse. Uh, single Hilder. Okay, so it's in post. Okay, yeah, so we'll, we, we have to do it anyways for post. So we'll finish base. One reference to Hildy and Shadowbringers. Right, I've heard it, it, there is a reference that you, if you've done Hildebrand up through Stormblood in Shadowbringers, it changes something. So, if it, if it happens in post, though, I mean, I can definitely wait on that. And the dungeon late in Shadowbringers, and it's a rare chance if you've done. So define late. <laughs> Testimony of concerned citizens, which could conveniently direct us to the villain's precise location. Grand Sirs are holed up in a building south of the markets. Good show. And it's even it's a rare chance too, so it's not guaranteed, right? Come let us inform the others. That is a door. It would seem no one is home. There's not we can do but wait then. Papa Hill, I just want to say that I really like this place. I think that you and me and Mama could have lots of exciting adventures if we stay here. You may be right. This community seems to have fostered an enlightening free society. Welcome to honest souls willing to work and true to a greater whole. Did anyone happen to see a gazebo on the way in? <laughs> After 5.0. Oh, so it's the 5. Th okay, so we will be doing it after 5.0. We will be doing it in post then. A livage Hildebrand Hildior Maximilian Manderville. It do be slow fix. I say, could it be slow fix coin toss? Do you know this gobby inspector? Most certainly do. Master Slowfix was my very first employer. When traveling through Thanalon long ago, Gobbleflock was waylaid by Uplander bandits with no jingly shine to pay brass blades, no way to backpack goods or backtake goods, so we made busy deal with gentlemen Uplander that is. With fastness he finds our uplander bandits and brings them much bangy boom and returns to goodly copies missing goods in great justice and so slow fix gains new appreciation for uplanders but for chance encounter with gentleman uplander uh he has never conceived of egalitarian utopia <laughs> one may even claim hildy is a founding father of edelshire metaphorical tongue collapse that is amazing amazing oh the memories was a near thing for the bandits were clever enough to see through my genius disguise as an innocent milkmaid, but in my haste to escape, I tripped over a barrel of fire sand. And as they, boom, copy doom. Oh no. This is perfect. No busy deals for the wicked. 
No busy deals, indeed. Leaving the delightful Anna to side, you gods, Master Slowfix, just looking at what you and your flock have made. These runes make me. I can't close out of the game. Like, that's, if I close out, if I pop out, it makes the screen go black and it interrupts the whole thing. So I can't actually tab out right now. All the luck has come a long way since wandering days, but we have not forgotten. Gentlemen, Uplander's kindness. Slowfix is here to offer hand lending. Well, far from it be uh, far from me to be refused. Sinkigi has grown quite fond of your magnificent city and show. I very much like to stay with him my assistant for a time. We would not require much in the way of accommodations. The humble gazebo, for example, would be more than suffice. The gazebo in perfectly good estate right behind you. Residents of building in arrears and Slowfix happy to evict them. No, <laughs> but we were pursuing the fiends who lived here in suspicion of defrauding young women. Broad and Slowfix's egalitarian utopia. This will not abide. All the more reason the gentleman uplander and his flock to stay inside of Grand Sirs. No need for jingly shine either. What can be translated to? We don't negotiate with. He's fair enough, yeah. <laughs> Grand Gazebo to call our own. No, say thank you, Master Slowfix. Thank you. No new teary eyed tongue flax gobble block possession of moral obligation to repay gentlemen uplander for past generosity. Join new Kazibo and good luck with hunt for grand sirs. Ability since this is our Gazebo okay if I draw our family crest on it. I think no better way to celebrate the joyous occasion and perhaps draw the ire of our new home's former tenants. Come let us go and purchase uh some paints together. Gibbous shall be your canvas. Now he's gonna got himself a sodden gazebo. <laughs> Bloody hell, if he really thinks I'm gonna let him keep on playing it, being a father. Amazing. This is. Oh, this is perfect. Hmm. Brush. My god. This is the first reference we have of uh, Pictomancer. Oh my god. Gigi is the first Pictomancer confirmed. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. He's gonna come back, be a Pictomancer. It's gonna be amazing in Dawn Trail. <laughs> huh. Still on the sign of the Taurus Grand Sir. Just say we're going to need more paint. <laughs> One point, yeah, he, he called him that a uh, couple quests ago. Oh, it was perfect. The world state changed, an adorable one at that. Yeah, no, that's fair. This pains to admit a gentleman's stamina is not without limits. There, so I could do with a spot of tea. Tea does sound good, actually. Vector's just near. Have those two been looking for the last few minutes? <laughs> I love the thing. <laughs> oh, it's just quite normal behavior for my adoring fans, I should think. When finally presented with an opportunity to meet their idol in the flesh, ultimately succumb to their fears and flee. <laughs> Or maybe, just maybe, they're the blank, <laughs> the grand bloody sirs. Come on, come on, they're getting away. The old lady is going to be there. I'm calling it, I'm calling it now. Worm! See you. Worm.
Marking to me, dastardly rapscallions, you know where to run. Reveal yourselves at once. And this time, I no idea so far. Need a little more information. I ask you again, come forth, Grand Sirs. Name yourselves and answer for your misdeeds. Is it, is it just a is it just a conglomerate of old women? It's gonna be a conglomerate of old women, isn't it? <laughs> it's happening. Player of a thousand worms, the silver spear I hath pierced the very heavens. Orland. Master of magic's ancient and awesome, the divine hand which hath defeated all maladies, save senescence and incontinence. Gone sparse. What? Is this just, is just the, the, the party of old? Grand sirs, Excelsior. Uh, Excelsior, are you serious? Laugh or cry, man. <laughs> what? Is there? I feel like there's a Stanley reference here somewhere. Grand sirs, um, grand sirs, you are standing accused of willfully and unlawfully convincing young bands of Ishgard to attend private parties under false pretenses, thereby inflicting upon them terrible financial and emotional distress, emotional damage, if you will. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, on behalf of these poor defenseless innocents to see that no others are made to suffer as they did. Now lay down your arms and surrender yourselves under my custody. Ah, the audacity of this boy. You should feel ashamed of your words and deeds. Actually, just Dragoon LB3. Is his back going to get thrown out? He ruined the day and ruined it hard. He, he didn't like that floor. Now oh, I missed this. The air streaming past, blood pumping, the taste of copper on my lips, the slight dizziness. Oh, he's going to pass out. <laughs> yeah. It was on a day like this that we met, wasn't it? And when we soared into the Zesher skies, we never truly came back down. Did, did he fly too close to the sun? <laughs> Human eyes deceive. Pigs knee of my heart. Descendant from Halone's halls to guide me. To oh my God! <laughs> my beloved, my everything. Long have I waited for this moment. Take me in your arms once more and lift me higher. <laughs> I had Creed. Can you take me higher? Play in my head at that point, at that exact moment. Uh, uh, uh huh. Man just soared over the clouds. He's passed out, right? What? Orland. Orland. <laughs> yeah. I, this this is this is your dragoon. This is this is the dragoon experience. Passed out mid-flight, fell down like a rock. Portland, I knew him not in the slightest, but he seemed a decent man. Chicanery and attempted murder, notwithstanding. Yeah, I guess you could say that. It will rue this day and rue it hard. He had a heart attack mid-flight. <laughs> That's what happens when the when the uh, when the dragoon jumps, right? The dragoon jumps, but the AOE is still on the ground because he's still where he jumped from. He gets hit mid-jump and the attack kills him. <laughs> this is exactly that. A, a lore accurate dragoon gameplay. Yes, absolutely. Wait, I've seen this more all too recently. Yes, anyways, he's only mostly dead. If the Master of Magic's ancient and awesome here acts with all haste, he may yet be saved.
<laughs> did he forget where he is? What's happening? That lingering shot, though. Oh, you're referring to me, I see. Oh, with all haste, was it? Yes, I'll get right. <laughs> Classic. Mournful voice of creation. Send me a creature of the abyss. My thrall to command one that may spite. No, wait. No, that's not good. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> something rather less controversial tradition. Yes, yeah, something with a more pet may vortex of biting winds to rend the flame. <laughs> he only knows destructive magics. Actually made it worse. <laughs> Foes, I thought you were friends. Oh, <laughs> Is this how the one is this how 1.0 players feel? <laughs> like PS3 players? <laughs> uh Saint Renat buggered me with all that bleeding gay bulk my back, my back. Ah it would seem I've underestimated you. No, it's how they are. <laughs> PS3 players colorized makes two of us 1.0 did have a fatigue meter oh my god i 1.0 sounds like it was just rough not just because there was what was it cp no, was what was the it was it ap for melee oh god in the beer do you not care what becomes of your mammoth don't hey don't you threaten gigi see it's the old woman gigi but when how I knew it. <laughs> it's called TP. <laughs> right, tactical points. Thought it was CP. I'm like, that's COD points. I won't play Call of Duty. <laughs> Thought I recognized you. Well, I play old Call of Duty. Just put it that way. I play like old Modern Warfare 2. Thought I recognized you first in Ishgard. He's literally just falling asleep in the background. You've been following us ever since we left the capital. Bearer of faces, fair and fierce, and the night shadows just have to see kings and queens. Doris! <laughs> Can't possibly be so naive to think that we wouldn't see through your ridiculous disguises. Yet here you are, so effortlessly and easily lured into our trap, for which we are most grateful. My, he's casting cure. <laughs> My companions are hardly cut out for life on the road. All has been in preparation for this moment. The parties, the petty schemes. From the first, the objective of the grand design was to... I was been the singular mammoth. Where do you? If you harm Gigi in any way, you have no desire to hurt the boy. We require help to reclaim that which is rightfully ours, our youth. Bomb. Confounded. I can't see. Okay, can Gigi just go like inverse his time reversion, become Chad? The vase also breaks. Is that is that going to be the meme? It's, they're very slowly getting away. They're very slowly getting away. Actually, just the uh, uh, what is it? Dark Souls Three Undead Settlement, right? The the with the cages on their backs. <laughs> Stay strong, I swear. I shall find you. <laughs> yeah. About how that works. No, it's just getting. I could onslaught like twice. Get there. <laughs> Both strike me down for a full so desperate as I see the grand sirs that I failed to discern their true intent before it was too late. And now poor Gigi's in their clutches. I'll never see my beloved son again. I suppose we ought to be prepared for the worst. They could have been halfway to Rosadhod by now. I very much doubt that given they were moving and an Adam and Boyce's pace. Little milk stops right. You better get those old buggers. The bane of monk mains. So we ran out of so bad. I believe it. No, I heard. I heard removing TP was one of the best things they did for the game. And they used to call me among other things. Oh, the memories. Characters just going along with this because it's just me, right? <laughs> this is just now. Nah, we're just gonna let them do it. Milk up the operation. Uh, that's good. For I'll have to take a look at that 
I don't, uh, I send that to the 14 channel. Don't say that's a reaction, but send it to the 14 channel. Just say that like, hey, Kip hasn't seen this. <laughs> make a shot. Just tell me what. It was gate for Astro. You can make the monk run out. So, so I, yeah. <laughs> it seems that the Grand Sir has been caught once more by the very inspectors trying to catch them. I missed miss the inspector from the, the, the inspector from ARR, the other one. Ironic. Also, how premature we have them. Yes, but we all, they, they still have Gigi. Damn it. Only some opportunity would present itself. My model broke? What do you mean? It's because it's... If I move in front of my mic like this, it's not that it breaks. It's that I was leaning over. You shall receive. We have an ambush. Uh, the Wizard Dragoon. Take him hostage and demand an exchange. Wizard Dragoon, you disappoint me. A gentleman cannot condone the violent kidnapping and ransom of elders. No, no. We must approach this problem as paragons of honor and virtue. Yeah, so, like, classic mic etiquette has me do this. I'm speaking into my mic. But if I, like, I have to, like, have it look at my look at my lips right yes yeah, so that's why it means i have to just check my posture we'll sock and subdue the grand sir then relieve him of his armor oh no <laughs> yes how is stripping an old man naked more gentleman than taking him hostage rest assured i shall be all soon enough godspeed kip yeah i'm just whatever where is this tail what whose tail is that why why is there a tail in the cutscene i think nash was like directly behind me Sprint use TP. Oh god, that'd be awful. So you had to pick and choose if you wanted to use sprint or not. Oh god, that's awful. Ah, I knew you'd wait, who are you again? There's something awfully familiar about those muscular forearms, those strong yet tender looking fingers. So you just kind of massage my shoulders. Oh, we're, it's it's is this actually another old man massage segment? Please, please tell me this is another old man massage segment. We're gonna have him take off his armor and massage the old man. Oh my god, this is the running gag. Uh, there's this lingering ache tension that <laughs> on Spark can't seem to soothe. This is magics. Oh no. Move my breastplate. Oh, of course. How silly me. Pray lend me a hand with these. Tr oh. 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 Wow. Ha <laughs> ha Little things they begin to appreciate. My dear departed wife used to help me with my armor, you know. Right, right. Should be uh, seated to better receive your tender mis administration. To be fair, as somebody that wears armor, it's much easier if someone helps me, especially get on my shoulders and stuff. Oh, that is rough to do by yourself. Dragon Cast, otherwise, it'd be called a puff puff voice. And Kido. Give me strength. Healing tingle with that I had a tincture of salamander, which to treat these aches. My little pigs used to spread some to my chest and under my nose to help me sleep through the night. I'm do not be shy. Work those two things to each and every knot slowly make me forget my troubles. Oh no! Harder, harder, higher, higher. Close your eyes and. <laughs> Old Dragon's uh, sophomore suddenly stops and you to fear you may have bore witness to his final moments in close to you extend a hesitant finger only stops short with a sudden spasm to the assumption of his labor. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. DPS on my pulls because you lose it so fast. Wow. You no, know, they definitely changed that then. Monk is a lot better now from what I hear. Most carry your leave orbital sabatons and breaches, leaving the sleeping old man exposed to the elements and at the mercy of nearby ravenous bears and tentacled morbles. May he rest in peace. <laughs> wow. That got morbid real quick. Oh my god. Kip, please. Stealing. I went the long way around, didn't I? Yes, I did. Gave you the moniker Stealer of Pants. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a reference to that. Oh my god, yes. 
My stalwart assistant by your turn, I gather you keep taking care of the Drugan by taking care of me. For him due courtesy befitting a man of his years whilst returning with the equipment I require. Capital. Then without further ado, I shall disguise myself as Orlin and Free Geeky from Captivity. Do you look do you nothing 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 alike? And they're <laughs> they may be old and slow, but they're not blind. Oh ye of little faith, you are in for a treat, for you shall have the front row seat to this magnificent display of mandible and Kyle and subterfuge. Hey, is it time for dinner yet? <laughs> we just ate, you daft bugger. And when the hell, where the hell is Orland? Orland, I know he's got to take a piss every hour, but damn, should at least be quick about it. Fortunately, oh, where you got a puff puff by? Oh no, I'm really sad that I missed that King Slime hat, and I don't think it'll ever come back. If it does, I will be doing the event, but I don't think it'll ever come back. King Slime hat is actually super legit. This would be hilarious, right? <laughs> Just gotta play along with it. This is comedy. Oh my god. <laughs> Greetings, fellow antidilivans. I have returned. He's not even subtle. He, he's as subtle as a brick. I love this man. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, bollocks. She, she's not going to remember who he is, right? About time. <laughs> remember, they're old. Okay, no, that's bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Pack every thing so I want us back on the road in 10 minutes. Before we do that, I must first release young Gigi here. It's his behavior. I'm becoming a gentleman to keep children in cages. <laughs> what in the seven hells are you blathering about? He's going to get away. No, he will not. See? Still here within my care. Right then. On a completely unrelated note, I shall be taking the boy with me on a brief sojourn into the wilderness. <laughs> Here, take me. It's working. He's about to walk out of there with Gigi, and they won't even try to stop him. So far, so good. Yep, and there's the old guy. Her, I'm cold. And there are marbles after me. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> what in the goddamn? There's one imposter among us. <laughs> I'm me, but you're also me. That can't be, unless. Yep. Yep, there we go. You're dead. This is it. This is the moment when my life flashes before my eyes. Oh my dearest pigs, we'll be together at last. Oh my god. It's just old people. It's old people, the quest. It's great. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, he's not wearing the armor, so he's going to be the imposter. Huh? Yep, exactly. This is perfect. <laughs> Imposter, how dare you attempt to trick me with that ruse? So I you would make a mistake. <laughs> Gods never realized dying would hurt so much. our chance key come with me oh my god why why does this go so hard 
we've been had. <laughs> Vivi, wait. Vivi. My son, what has gotten into you? Where have I heard that name before? No, no, it's Gigi. It's it's completely it's completely distinct. Remember who you are, who you are. Creation of the great Charlie and Archmagus Quan. Quan, Quan. I was given life by Grandpapa Quan. I remember now. We lived together and he taught me many things about the outside world. What a twist. Exactly do you remember, my son? Everything, yes, everything. I remember that Grandpapa Pond created me, and they took care of me, raised me, and that we were very happy. But then, then he abandoned me. Grandpapa Pond abandoned me. He believed you were flawed, Vivi, that you lacked the power to turn back the hands of time to make him young again. So, the ignorance he cast you out and died all alone. Back the hands of time. Then, what we witnessed at the Crozier was the Duke's press his face, the power could brought to bear on people. Wait, how do you know all this? You couldn't possibly have been associated with Archimagus Quan. Found his journals during one of many trips in the Great Library. Scavenger... The rain just now stops. Uh, scavenger of our valuable relics is one of the few ways we have left to make a living. We were faint tears of the war in our prime with fortunes to match, but no soldier has the strength to triumph over time, and before he knew it, the hour of the sheath was upon us, and Ishgard no longer had need of our services. We came to eke out a living, keep doing what we do best until our bodies won't let us imagine our surprise when we stumbled upon an opportunity of a lifetime, a second lifetime, as it were. And with the power to take that which was broken and restore it to its prime state, to turn back time to pearl magics and give us back our misspent youth. Here, take me. This is also, I don't even know if this precedent to determine whether or not this constitutes heresy. Technically not. Technically it would, too. Yes and no, it's in a gray area. We know where to look, even with the journals were determined that the man was somewhere in the Western Highlands, a chance for a second chance within reach, and we were forced to watch as you imbeciles pulled you from the snow, nearly ruining everything. Listen to me, come with us, we can help you unlock your true potential. Just think what you could accomplish where you master uh read master your magics. Not only could you make us young and you may even have the power to restore life to our smack. Uh, that that is not Correct. That is, there is more to that than just time reversal. Gigi? No, I can truly return the dead to us at best. You can animate a corpse. I need, I need not review the precepts to declare that. Products of necromancy are abominations in the eyes of the Fury. Wait, what of your adventures? What of the gazebo? You are a mandible mammoth. You've always been so kind to me, Papa Hildy, and I will forever be grateful of that. But Grandpa Quan may be, he may be, and I may miss him, so even if it fails, I have to try. First turn, and we also become an. Oh my god. Business. <laughs> Cha ching. <laughs> and they're getting. We have to stop them. Nope. Mayhap, we must respect Gigi's decision. I love that he left without the armor. He still has the armor on. <laughs> That's the end of that chapter. You're giving up and coming back home. You made a decision long ago to become a traveling inspector, and I have ever stood by it. It happened is true. It is from singular stubbornness of mine that Gigi took inspiration. Yeah, I cannot abide by it. He is my flesh and blood, my son. I don't let him use the temporal magic to prefer the natural order. Falls to me the father to ensure the Gigi keeps on the righteous path and only utilize traditional methods of zombification to raise the... Exactly, see? <laughs> it's it's got to be ethically sourced zombification. Was it a sir? I must applaud your dedication to your work and cannot thank you enough for all you've done on our behalf. Yet I fear if we continue as we are, Gigi may be driven to rash action. Therefore, I would ask that you suspend your pursuit of the Grand Sirs for a time that I might be afforded the opportunity to convince my son to return peacefully. Seeing as... I can only guess the full extent of Gigi's powers. It might prove dangerous to act aggressively should he choose to use them. You understand, right then? There's no time to waste. Ashi, let's return to our new gazebo and discuss our plans. Those have been ashamed of getting up that easily. Though that means I have to stick around even longer. <laughs> Other hand, if the bloody mammoth's really gotten the power to make them young again. <laughs> Uh, 
There you are. As it's been my pursuit, I, and I will, doesn't mean I won't continue my investigation into that mammoth and its powers in Ishgard. Alright, where are we going? Go all the way back to Foundation? Okay. Weird champ, but okay. I love how this class name is Don't Trust Anyone Over 60. <laughs> Uh, so you picked the capital as well. The Inquisition has a rather large collection of heretical tomes, including many of the Charlene origin, and I have a mind to scour the information on temporal magics. And of course, I'll think of confirming the mammoth's heretical origin. Yes, only that. Why are you looking at me like that? If only imply the interest in these matters is more than a professional one. I don't know what you're ta <laughs> you're not talking about. Thank you. That will be all. That's the end of the chapter, I think. Yep, there it is. What a f neat Heavensward arc. <laughs> Amazing. Because this comes out on a patch by pass basis, I'm pretty sure, right? Oh, God, this is a treat. Every patch. Oh, new Hildebrand's live. God, especially if we get hit in Dawn Trail. The uh, New World Adventures of Hildebrand. Hildebrand goes to the New World. <laughs> but alas, that was going to be it for this episode on the Kip TV channel. So stream, hang out for just a second here. Thank you, everyone, if you came out. What are your thoughts are? Let me know if you like this better than the AR Hildebrand. Let me know if you didn't like this better than the AR Hildebrand. And uh, we are going to be changing pace. We will be finishing Heavensward Hildebrand and then after, then engaging right into Shadowbringers on the channel. And then after Shadowbringers, uh, we will be heading back to... Uh, my apologies. Heading back to Stormblood Hildebrand to finish it out. And then we will finish Shadowbringers post as we go into Endwalker. So that is going to be the updated plan for you. And I will see you in the next one.